Hey, welcome back to the Marketing Ninja Podcast, where Manuel shares his business, marketing, and branding strategies he's used to build seven to eight figure businesses. All right, let's enjoy the show. Artificial intelligence. So let's quickly define what it is. AI or artificial intelligence refers to the ability of machines and computer systems to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, such as learning, reasoning, problem solving, decision making. So what AI is not? A replacement for human intelligence, so it can perform specific tasks more efficiently and accurately than humans, it cannot yet replicate the breadth and depth of human intelligence. And trust me, we have been so deep into it for the last several months that the human aspect has to be part of your business. It has to be a part of your marketing. You're not gonna just set it and forget it and let the machine build your business for you. That is not really happening. You know what it will do? It's gonna make every single one of your workers, employees, more efficient. And if they don't start using it, they're quickly gonna become irrelevant in that company. It is your job as the executive, as a CEO, as the marketing officer of that company to ensure that the people that are in that company use that technology because it maximizes their ability to produce. 10 times, 20, 100 times, sometimes more. Who would like to do more in less time, right? Who understands that the most valuable commodity that we have is called time? How much faster can we accomplish our goals if we had more times in our hands, right? This is what it's all about, guys. It's not about like the world being taken over by robots. It's about an ability for us to do more with our time. So let's get to it. 85% of businesses fail within the first 10 years. Historically, you have a 15% chance of being around 10 years from today. Your business, what do you think is gonna be the biggest reason for failure for most businesses? Anybody wants to volunteer an answer? Number one. Undercapitalized. Undercapitalized. I have another way of, of, of uh, answering that. Humans. And why am I saying humans? Because the biggest cost and expense in any organization is the human workforce. On average, 70% of a company's money is given to other humans that are working for that company, which means that your answer is correct because you don't have enough funds to keep that business going because you have to pay for your humans to deliver the work. If you had enough capital to keep on paying for your humans and you have enough conviction for your products and services, you know what? You stay in business. Can we all agree to that? Yeah. Very good. So what is the biggest business expense? Humans. Let's just use common sense for a moment. What can artificial intelligence do for us? Can it make us geniuses? This is an excerpt from the book and it says, an important note, artificial intelligence is a tool. And like every other tool in our shared world, its power lies entirely in the hands of the user. AI doesn't transform ordinary humans into geniuses. Rather, it turns human geniuses into more efficient human geniuses. And regular non-genius humans into far more efficient non-genius <laughs> humans. <laughs> the key word here being what? This word over here, efficient. Being able to do more with less time. You don't have to compete with everybody else in the room. You gotta compete with yourself and your ability to do more with less time. That's what it's all about. At the end of the day, you have your own goals, your own targets, your market, whatever that may be, already exists, because if you didn't, you wouldn't have a demand, right? Unless you are inventing rocket ships and doing things like Elon Musk and all these people that are creating things that are revolutionary, like Henry Ford creating a vehicle, right? Those things don't, like whatever you are selling already exists, there's an established demand. So all you gotta do is become more efficient with your time and you can do more than your competition and then start getting yourself on a path to winning. Excerpt from Marketing Magic, if you didn't know, that's the name of my book. The chapter is called Unleashing the Power of Artificial Intelligence for Content Creation. So let's take up one of the reasons for business failures. Failure to adapt to changes. Even some major businesses we've all been familiar with have failed on this one point. Why did Kodak fail and what can you learn from its demise, right, Kodak? Why did Nokia fail and what can you learn from it? Four biggest reasons why Yahoo failed. All of it boils down to the same thing. They failed to innovate, they failed to adapt. One of the biggest changes today is the broad availability of artificial intelligence. So some people love it. For example, you see articles on the internet all over the place, people are how it's transforming the world, how it's making it better, and then a lot of people hate it, right? And this is something also very common in the world at large. People that want to excuse themselves from being a part of an opportunity, they tend to 
hate on it. They tend to criticize it. They tend to explain to others why they feel it's something that is dangerous or something to watch out for. That's usually what you get from somebody that is themselves a looser sort of personality, right? Because when you have evolution of technology, you can either be an optimist, figure out how to use it to make yourself better, or you can be a pessimist, complaining about how the world's gonna change and how it's gonna all end. A lot of people will talk about how things are getting scary with it, right? There's an article over here like talks about how we should be afraid of AI. Things that have happened with science fiction, like who saw the movie I, Robot, right? Here's a movie, Will Smith. Right? They took over and they ended up attacking the humans and almost got in control of the world. That, my people, I promise you, is not happening. Because the, IA, the AI is actually entirely dependent on the input by the humans, 100% dependent on it. It evolves and it makes things, calculations that are in your wildest dreams not possible, and it makes you faster, but it's still gonna depend on the human input, all right? That's why geniuses will become better geniuses with the tool. Hey, thanks for listening. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead, leave us a review and subscribe to tune in for future episodes. And if you're looking for a team that'll go above and beyond for you and your brand, go to talktoaninja.com today.